Okay, let's have a look on the contents of this uh, video. First, I will explain the MNISD uh, digit data sets and I will uh, give you the original link of Yan Li and its Kaggle link. Then I will show you the MNISD uh, fashion data set uh, and its corresponding GitHub link and the Kaggle link. Then I will explain that what is the need of uh, actually uh, the converting this data set uh, into PNG and JPEG images. And after that, I will give you the conversion logic uh, by which you can convert all the CSV files to uh, PNG and JPEG images in corresponding folders. And then uh, I will explain the MATLAB code uh, which will be used for the conversion of this uh, digit data sets to PNG images. And after that, I will explain the MATLAB code uh, for the conversion of this fashion data set to PNG and JPEG images. So now let's go ahead. Uh, this is the original page of uh, MNIST digit data sets, uh, which is uh, given by following these three persons, uh, Yan Lee, Karina and Christopher Bergs. Uh, this is uh, the link from where you can uh, download this database or you can uh, read about it. Uh, this link is given in the description, so you can directly click that link from the description. Uh, this uh, data set. Uh, is of actually the handwritten digits. Uh, it has total uh, 60,000 examples in the training and it has total 10,000 examples for testing. Actually, it's a subset of the larger set of available uh, from NIST. The digits uh, have been size normalized and centered in a fixed size of 28 by 28 grayscale. These images are grayscale and the data set is in IDX U-byte format. Uh, when you go to this website, you will see these uh, following four files. Uh, these are uh, the .gz, I mean these are compressed files, so you can uncompress them using uh, some uh, software such as WinRAR. So when you uncompress uh, this, you will get a file train images IDX U-byte, uh, but you cannot open it, uh, you won't be able to see any images in this file. Uh, so you have to write uh, uh, code to read uh, this file. So uh, this is uh, really a complex uh, package of the images. That's why I'm uh, presenting this work to you so that you can uh, get these images uh, in JPEG and PNG format. Uh, this is actually the Kaggle uh, link of the same database. I mean the digit database. So when you click this uh, link. It is also given in the description. You can jump to this page. Uh, again, uh, uh, it has uh, the same database but in the CSV format. And uh, actually this data set uses the work of uh, Joseph Redmond uh, to provide the MNST data set in CSV. So where uh, on this page you can find the following two files, uh, train.csv and test.csv. Uh, actually, CSV is uh, more simpler than IDX uh, format. So, in CSV, uh, train CSV, you will find the 60,000 uh, training examples. And in test, MNIST test.csv, you will get the 10,000 uh, test examples. And this is uh, actually the glimpse of uh, MNIST digit data set of handwritten digits. You can see you get uh, these labels. Uh, so, you, and you get all these uh, handwritten digits like this. Each image is a grayscale image, grayscale and of size 28 by 28, okay. And now uh, come to the fashion data set of MNIST. So this is the GitHub link. So when you go to this link, uh, it is also given in the description. You will jump to this web page from where uh, you can download uh, the corresponding files. Uh, actually, this uh, fashion MNIST is the data set of Zolando's article uh, images. Uh, again, it consists of a uh, total 70,000 images where 60,000 are of training and 10,000 images uh, are for testing. And again, it is in IDX U by format. Each image is a uh, 28 by 28 grayscale and associated with the label for the 10 classes. So you can, uh, if you compare this with the digit data sets, you will, you will see that uh, both the data sets are same in the structure, uh, except the, the object is different. 
okay so when you go to this web page uh, you will get following four files so t10k images idx u byte u byte it includes your uh, 10k test images so it has 10k test images and the second file has the labels of these test images and in third file uh, you get the training images uh, 60000 uh, training images and uh, in the fourth file you will get labels of those uh, 60000 images and now let's see the kaggle link of uh, the same mnist fashion data set uh, when you go to this link uh, you will jump to this web page from where you can uh, find these uh, files in csv format so when you go to this web page you get these two files uh, the fashion mnist test.csv and train.csv so in uh, test uh, sorry, in training uh, dot CSV you get 60,000 images, but in CSV format uh, with the corresponding labels. And in uh, test dot CSV you will get 10,000 images with the C in CSV format with their corresponding labels. And this is the glimpse of uh, your fashion MNIS data set. You can see uh, it has the labels uh, similar to the digit data sets. I mean 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 9. And this is the description. All t-shirt and top are in this uh, label, are arranged with this label zero. You can see these images. Trousers with the label one, pullover with the label two, dress, coat, sandal, shirt, sneakers, bag, and angle boots. So again, these all images are grayscale and of size 28 by 28. Okay. Now let's see what is the need of uh, actually converting this data set uh, which is in IDX, U-byte format or in CSV format to PNG and JPEG images. The first thing is uh, as seen uh, the actual data set is either in IDX U-byte or in CSV format. So which is difficult to interpret and we can't even see the type of images we have in the data set. Actually uh, there is a general tendency if you have images in a data set you must have at least a look on those images that what type of images i'm uh, going to use for training or testing but in that uh, compressed format i am not able to see what type of images i have in my database uh, and there are many uh, matlab and python scripts are available uh, on internet to load these uh, mnist data set but when they are executed, all the data is loaded directly into the either MATLAB arrays or Python number arrays without any visualizations. Although you can uh, uh, take a few uh, sample images from uh, uh, data set, loaded data set from the arrays by adding codes, but you still you don't have any uh, visualization of whole data set in that case. And third is the important thing. Uh, if we are working on our own image data set, then it is better to have MNIST database as images in a structured folder so we can use our previously developed code on this without the change in the code or without too much change in the code. So that is important. Okay. So in this video, I will explain you uh, the Kaggle CSV data set to PNG and JPEG images. I'm not taking IDX UI because uh, in the newer versions of MATLAB, uh, the MATLAB has given uh, the function uh, which reads the IDX UByte format. So I have taken the Kaggle CSV uh, format to convert that into PNG and JPEG images. So let's have a look on the CSV file which we have downloaded. So when you open this CSV file either in MS Excel, you can simply uh, load your file into MS Excel. So when you load it, uh, you can uh, see this type of format. So the first column of this uh, CSV file is corresponding to your label and all other uh, columns are actually carrying uh, uh, the grayscale value of your 28 by 28 image. Actually, uh, instead of uh, images uh, in 2D, uh, they are stored as one dimensional. So 2D uh, is not represented here the images are stored in 1d so you can see that each row 
each row is corresponding one image so the second row is the second image third row is the third image and so on so all the images are stored row wise so this is my first image so now question is how to uh, extract uh, this uh, in MATLAB and how to convert uh, this uh, 1D into two dimensional format. So this is the conversion logic. So this uh, uh, row vector is actually showing my one row of that CSV file uh, that is of size 1 by 70, uh, 784 because uh, the image is of 28 by 28. So it, its size is 1 by 7, 784. Right. So now to convert this 1D into 2D, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, picking the chunks of uh, 28 values. So these are your 28, 28 values from that row. And now arranged like this uh, row after row. Okay. One by one. So all these uh, 28 uh, values uh, are uh, placed uh, one after one to get this 28 by 28 uh, 2d image right so we will uh, write a matlab code to do this operation of uh, reshaping and now this is the folder structure in which we will store all the files so uh, this uh, these folders we will uh, make uh, using matlab instead of uh, making this manually we will make all these folders uh, by writing codes so suppose your MATLAB code is residing in this current directory. So it has some name, let's say directory name. And uh, first we will create a folder in this current working directory and its name will be the MNIST digit data set. You can give any of your name. And in this folder, inside this folder, we will create total 10 folders by the name uh, this of 0, 1, 2, 3 and 9, up to 9. So we'll create these 10 folders because all the digit zeros will go into this field folder and all the digits one will go into in this folder and so on. So at the end of the execution of the program, you will have these 10 folders in this MNIST digit data set uh, folder inside your current directory where all the images of uh, these digits you will get in these corresponding folders. So what you have to do first, first download the data set from Kaggle and unzip this because it is in zip or RAR. So you have to unzip them using WinRAR and you get these two files and place these two files in this uh, in this current directory. And also your MATLAB program is also residing in this current directory and then run that program. So let's uh, come to the MATLAB program. So this is the MATLAB code for uh, conversion of a uh, digit data set. So first, I'm taking digit data set. Uh, actually, since both the data set are same, so the same program will be used for uh, the fashion data set also with the uh, small changes. So first, what we need, uh, we need to read this CSV file. So by the CSV read function, I'm reading this MNIST test.csv same you can read the training file also okay uh, one zero actually i am uh, just uh, neglecting the first uh, row because the first row actually includes the non-numerical values so that, that has to be excluded uh, in the older version of matlab or even the current version you can use uh, although use the csv read function but you can use this uh, newer uh, function read matrix also to do the same things okay and uh, so every so your file is uh, loaded and uh, stored in this variable data set now uh, as i said the first column of uh, this uh, data set is the label so i'm extracting uh, this uh, uh, label so label equal to data set all rows and first column by this command and then i'm setting a counter uh, digit counter of uh, uh, 10 rows and one column so it's an uh, column array of uh, 10 counters. Actually, this uh, I'm doing uh, to count that how many uh, images are there uh, for each categories. Okay. And it will also help in uh, deciding the file name uh, of uh, each image. And these are actually the commands to uh, make those folders, as I said. 
so make directory uh, the mnist digit data set so it's your main folder which will carry these uh, uh, 10 folders and these uh, uh, total uh, 10 folders okay uh, till 9 and now i am setting the for loop uh, from 1 to 10,000 uh, because I have total 10,000 uh, images in the test folder or test file. So that's why it is 1 to 10,000. If you are uh, using a training uh, set, then it should be the 1 to 60,000 and images are 60,000 there. And here uh, I am extracting the first uh, row of uh, that uh, CSV file. So uh, here you can see that uh, from the data set variable, I am extracting the first row. That means I equal to 1. Uh, this is 1. Uh, at this moment and uh, then uh, all columns from second to end second to end because the first column uh, has a value related to the label not the image and uh, so your whole image uh, as a one dimensional uh, vector that means 1 by 784 uh, it comes into the digit so this is a 1d image now to convert this in 2d it is passed to this function reshape object function so this is a function which I have written instead of using the MATLAB's uh, function which gives uh, some different ori orientation of uh, image. That's why I have used my own uh, code for uh, uh, reshaping. So later I will show you that what is uh, inside this reshape object and then converting them, them into unsigned integer to make it grayscale. So here uh, the images are in grayscale and uh, but in 2D. Okay, so you can store these images directly. But if you want uh, the images uh, in the double format and in the scale version, that means all values from 0 to 1, you just use these two lines. I have uh, commented right now because I am uh, using the grayscale. So if you want uh, in the double format, you just uh, uh, uncomment these two lines and uh, comment this, this line. Make this as comment and uncomment these two. And here you can see that uh, your digit uh, is a simply uh, 2D matrix and uh, it is scaled to 0 to 1 values because it is uh, each uh, value is divided by the maximum of this matrix. Now I am uh, getting the label. Uh, so from uh, the label variable that means the first column of that CSV file which already stored in this label. Uh, so I am getting uh, this first label. So first label goes to the get label variable. And uh, I am uh, now uh, getting this uh, folder path. Path that means where I will store this digit. So this is my directory where I will store. Uh, and this uh, will be different in your case. So be careful, don't copy uh, this uh, code as it is. In your case, uh, you, you have to change. Uh, you have to change this. So as I said, this is your main folder. Uh, MNIST digit data sets and inside this folder uh, you will get uh, uh, your get label uh, folder. So as uh, you if you remember that the first uh, row, the first column and the first row, the label was a 7. So it means the first uh, image corresponding to digit 7. So that's why when you extract this 7, it means your image must go to the folder number 7. So that's why uh, I am extracting this label. And uh, after that, uh, this function is again, I have created one uh, get file name. It is not MATLAB function, it is mine function. So where I am uh, passing uh, this uh, get label uh, as well as the digit counter. Actually, uh, this is uh, done because uh, uh, in each folder, which we have created uh, 0 to 10, 0, 1, 2, and uh, till 10 till 9 sorry 10 folders uh, the digit uh, will go to the corresponding folder so to keep their name uh, name like this that that one dot png next should be the two dot png and after that next should be the three dot png and so on uh, to give uh, the this type of naming actually i have to write this extra code okay and after that, I am writing uh, the image to the corresponding folder with the I am right. So this is my extracted digit. And this is the total path of uh, the image where it will be written. And then updating the digit counter and end. Now let us see uh, what is inside the reshaping object. It is a simple code. 
So where I am passing the digit, which is actually in 1D format and it will return me as 2D. So first uh, initializing a 28 by 28 zero matrix and then uh, as I as I said that you have a one dimensional image uh, of 1 by 784. So what you have to do, you have to uh, lift uh, chunks of 28, okay, chunks of 28 and you have to place them uh, one by one to make it 2D images as I have already explained in the previous page. So this is what I am doing in this uh, code. And this is the get file name function uh, where I am uh, getting the file name so that it can go to the corresponding folder. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I am passing uh, the label and the object counter. So if uh, counter, actually I am comparing the label, I am comparing the label if it is zero, if it is zero that file, uh, this file name should be in such a way that it should go into the folder zero. Okay, and it's also counting that how many zero digits uh, I have uh, already read. So it's simple actually. So if uh, label equal to zero, then uh, count should be increased by one. And uh, according to that, uh, I create the name of the file. Okay, so if uh, let's say the zero uh, is uh, first time given, so its name should be uh, one dot PNG. And if zero comes again, its uh, file name should be two dot PNG. And after some time zero comes again, then its name should be three dot PNG. And all these uh, files should go to the same folder name zero. So that is uh, happening by this uh, help of this code. So this is uh, continuing again. And uh, for actually this is for all uh, 10 folders. That's why it is lengthy. So now let us see uh, how this uh, will be executed in the MATLAB. So let me jump to the MATLAB and open the editor. So this uh, file is already written. So I will simply execute it. And you can see that uh, this is the reshape uh, file and this is the get file name. Okay. So these two functions are already there. So now let me run this file. And before running this file, let me show you uh, the current folder. So this is my current folder and here current directory and here you can see that there is no folder uh, till now. So when I execute this MATLAB program, it will create all those folders and store all the corresponding digit images. So let me jump to this uh, program and run it. So I'm running it by pressing this run button. Okay, it is started and let's see the wind window of MATLAB and here you can see that MATLAB is busy. So it is uh, executing the program. So we have to wait till it finishes. But meantime, we can see that whether folders are created or not. So just go to the directory and see yes, this folder is created by the MATLAB. Let me double click it. And yes, all those 10 folders are also created. So if I open the zero one, let me see uh, what is happening. Okay, so all the uh, images are uh, coming here. You can see that it is continuously updating. So all zeros are coming here. And uh, let me go to the another, let's say nine. You can see all nine are coming here. So it is continuously updating. You can see here, it is now 652, uh, 675, 680. So it is continuously updating. So it has to end in few more time. The MATLAB is still busy, so it is still computing. So let's wait till it finishes. Okay, it's done now. So the cursor is written to the command window and your conversion is finished. So just open it and see all the zeros are in this directory. Yes, there are total 980 items you can see. And let's go to the one. And here are total 1135 items. So let's see actually the uh, counter in the MATLAB, how many files it has counted. So count this one. So just open it and see what count I'm getting. So I'm getting these counts 980. As you can see, it was there in that zero folder. And then 1135 total number of digits of one. 
and 1032 of digit uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so these are total number of digits in each folders. So this is how uh, we have converted images uh, into uh, JPEG or oh, sorry PNG images. Okay, if you want to write the images uh, in uh, JPG, uh, simply here uh, you can uh, write, uh, just uh, change this PNG as JPG image or BMP or any other format. So you have to change uh, uh, this. Uh, uh, this part instead of percentage d dot png you have to write uh, percentage d dot uh, uh, let's say bmp or jpg so your all images will be uh, written in the jpg format that's it so this little change you have to do in your program uh, now uh, come to this uh, fashion data set so as i said each uh, data set are same in the structure uh, same in the image size so the same program can be used here also but the only thing is that uh, you have to create another folder so all uh, commands are same this is same this is same this is same uh, since categories are also 10 here uh, but here uh, there is a slight change you have to change the name of the folder there we used MNIST digit data set here I am uh, writing MNIST fashion data set so this is the main folder whose name is different and this is your uh, inside this folder this is your next folder 0 1 2 3 4 5 uh, till uh, 9 so total 9 uh, sorry total 10 folders are created again this is the counter for test 1 to 10,000 if you are uh, decompressing your uh, training set it will be 1 to 60,000 so all actually uh, commands are same no change except the name of folders so let us jump to the matlab and run this uh, program and let's see how my fashion data set looks like so this is my uh, program of uh, fashion uh, MNIST data set conversion so here you can see that only the folder name is changed so let me run this but before uh, running this let me show you the directory uh, it has only the one folder which was uh, just uh, created uh, for digit data set so let me see whether the second one is created or not after execution of this program so let me run so I am running this so it is running let me go to the workspace okay so here you can see the MATLAB is busy so it is executing so meanwhile uh, let me go to the directory and see yes this folder is created uh, fashion data set let me open it again the total 10 folders are created uh, for each category let me open the first one uh, okay so it is under process you can see that this counter is continuously increasing 296 301 308 like that and here you can see that uh, these are the images of t-shirts and tops and they are continuously updating okay let me go to the some other the 10th folder these are the ankle boards which are just keep coming you can see the counters 468 476 487 so they are continuously coming uh, in this uh, folder till the MATLAB finishes its execution so it is still going on so let us wait okay it's done now so you can see the cursor is returned to the command window and let me jump to the directory and yes these are all uh, folders you can see and let me open the first one and here you can see the all the images of uh, t-shirts and tops okay so how many images are there so here in the corner you can see there are total 10 uh, sorry 1000 images let me see another folder uh, this is of uh, the trouser again there are total uh, 1000 items and in third one uh, this is the pullover again 1000 items so I think there are 1000 in each so let me uh, see the MATLAB uh, counter so let me see the counter so counter also shows that uh, there are uh, thousand objects in each category yes there are thousand objects in increase in each category so total 10,000 you can see 
so in the similar way you can extract the training uh, one also so after that uh, uh, you will have these uh, two data sets with you uh, one is for MNIST digit data sets uh, where all the files are stored where all the files stored in all 10 folders and uh, second folder you have the MNIST fashion data set where again all items are stored in these 10 different folders. So this is how you can uh, convert all uh, the images of test and train data set of both uh, digit data set and fashion data set uh, of MNIST into corresponding JPEG PNG images. So that's it for this video and I hope that you have enjoyed it and you have liked it. So I really, really thank you all for watching this video and stay tuned for such more interesting videos to come. Till then, goodbye.